Hey babies! Look how cute she is! She's such a cute bagel! Yeah, she is! I know! What a cutie! Now something this cute, right? This cute comes with me hunting. And supposedly the organization Friends with Animals, who is part of the new lawsuit, wants to put this cute little girl's life in jeopardy when she goes hunting. And we're going to explain all that right now. Okay, guys, so what the hell am I talking about uh, when I say that friends of animals are willing to jeopardize my hunting dog's life? Um, so a lawsuit just went in to uh, Fish and Game Commission, and this is the second time this lawsuit has actually uh, gone through. Uh, it was already pushed through once before, but it was dismissed by the commission. Um, and so they're pretty much making another attempt at it um, on another basis. Now the first basis was just uh, cruelty to animals or something like that. Uh, but this one, the basis is uh, because the agency has failed to examine a range of ways the decision would significantly impact wildlife. Um, that's a quote from the uh, Animal Legal Defense Fund uh, website there. Um, they are also part of it as is the uh, Public Interest Coalition. Um, but that is their uh, reason for putting in this uh, second lawsuit here and it's pretty much saying that GPS collars and uh, train switches which is which is just the when you guys if you guys know the system that we use the Garmin Alpha system um, you know it'll tell you when your dog is treed is running um, barks per minute etc it gives you a lot of information so they're saying that being able to track the GPS uh, signal of your dog and being able to know that information as if it's treating an animal or, animal or not, um, that they're saying that is uh, going to impact the amount of uh, animals killed in a negative way. Um, pretty much, if I could find it here, it says, um, yeah, authorizing the use of GPS collars and training switches would result in unconscionable cruelty and anticipated increase in animal deaths. So the anticipated increase in animal deaths has no data supporting it um, behind it. I'd be totally open to see if uh, GPS tracking does, uh, you know, give a, a larger kill rate. But for you to do that, you would have to ask a question on tags every year if you used uh, dogs with a GPS system, and even if those hunters are fulfilling those tags. Um, now you guys know I drive hunt with dogs. We have a few videos up, and I just put one up recently. And you see that even though we brushed up a buck with a bunch of dudes and a bunch of dogs, we the buck still got away. It's not it, this this way, method of hunting does not honestly make it easier in any way. It's just a way that we hunt because our brush is so thick. There's so much terrain, um, etc. That is how we're able to be consistent in taking bucks and uh, harvesting our meat. Now that's the other thing is, even if there's an increased kill rate, there's still a quota on how many deer can be killed in each zone of California, right? It's determined every season. So even if the kill rate goes up, that just means that we're meeting quota. And we, every year, would love to meet tag quotas because that means we are hitting what we want and that what, you know, what the bio, uh, biologists want the population numbers to be at, either decrease, increase, etc. That's the whole reason for the tag system um, in there. Now, two, the reason why this is wrong is because it's just, I use this to keep the safety of our dogs um, in case something happens. You know, like most of my determination on if she's on a game trail or if she's treed something, etc., is all by barking. I, it is all listening. The GPS is if she runs off and I don't see her anymore, I can't hear her anymore. Etc. Or that I know that she's in distress. That is the only reason that this GPS system is being used. Also, the reason it's being used is because it's a training caller. I'm able to vibrate her, let her know to come back, etc. That is keeping my dog safe. And also, I mean, mountain lion hunting is illegal. You're trying to make bobcat hunting illegal. If my dog goes after a bobcat or a mountain lion, and is, I mean, she's doing something illegal. I need to get her off of that animal. I need to know where she's going. 
I need to know, I need to be able to call her from the caller. So with that being said, you know, it, it's something that needs to be used. And I think that this uh, secondary lawsuit is just an emotional argument from anti-hunters to try to get us to stop hunting. Um, and, you know, with that being said, they're putting our dogs' lives in jeopardy, which I think is just uh, irresponsible. So that's the whole deal going on here. Um, I'll let you know what uh, we can do, who we can contact, pretty much just the game commission to just pretty much say, hey, dismiss this lawsuit again, or um, if it does go to courts, you know, we're just going to have to convince the courts um, in our favor. So thank you guys for watching. This is Wyatt from Red Outdoors, and as always, subscribe, and we'll see you later.